a little bit of uh, sealer in there on that thread uh, I done already put this I done already put this one in there it just goes in as that tighten that up clean that away and this check ball here just drop it down in there and the spring and the fitting very little bit of thread sealer goes here you do not want it to get in there and interfere with the check ball you do not want any sealer on that check ball and just tighten that up securely but not to the point of breaking and then remove all the traces of the sealer around those threads like that a little lacquer thinner if necessary that's one check ball uh, if you can look down in yonder you can actually see it the spring is centered up on the uh, if not you can well it's centered up no need to poke nothing down in this one that, that's that check ball okay now the other one you just at the pro we're going to, we're going to put the packet on there first but then you would just drop it right down in yonder okay now we got both of them check balls installed but we don't want to lose it so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back out there and now we're going to put our put our packing onto the okay let's get that packing now to pack a fuel pump on a McCormick d and &M. this right here is some kind of graphite probably got it at a yard sale sometime I, I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar for that but that's a that's a rope packing and it's got some kind of graphite on it it's good stuff this is the same it don't have no writing or nothing on it it's just some kind of pump packing uh, that that one over there is that's about three eighths of size so and this is about an eighth of an inch okay if you if you and what I've done is I cut off a big old long piece of it and then unraveled it to where I would have individual strands and that one's about uh, that's about a foot long or a little bit more that's all you need this right here is all you need combined with this right here was like a buck 99 that's a full roll of that there thread tape about a buck 99 down there at the thrift store anyways to pack a fuel pump and I have I, I have probably uh, the number you know it's been a lot it's been a good many fuel pumps that I have packed using this method and and to date I've not had any problems with a fuel pump leaking it just works for me I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it and I'm not I'm not advising you to do it or anything like that I'm just showing you that that I do it and it works yon yon from there this thread tape right here you know I people tells me I'll put you a mop string up in there you know put you some soap on it you know I've done all of that stuff in years past <laughs> believe me I've tried everything that anybody has ever told me I've pretty much tried it but uh, I, I, this this just works for me, and all I'm doing is just kind of hey, it ain't nothing precise here. It's just totally at random that I'm spiraling that Teflon around that graphite packing. Okay, and it's got spring and and the, the taper part down on this plunger. And what I'm going to do is hold that right there. And I'm gonna go right around right here like this right here. Oh, about that much. Somewhere right in there. And then I'm gonna come back up. You want to end up with a with a fat place right in the middle. Okay. And you take your Teflon tape. 
and at this point just put it on there it don't matter what kind of condition it's in but some kind of order don't just make a mess out of it uh, kind of pay attention to what you're doing and and build it up right there like that and I know you're going to be skeptic. I know there's going to be some skeptics among you. And that's perfectly okay. Uh, it's just something that, this is just something that I learned some years ago. And by trial and error, let's just say on the job testing, it works. And there is good, there is good Teflon tape, and boy, there is some junk stuff out there too. I will tell you that this, some of this Teflon tape right here, is so thin and such poor quality. And, and don't ask me what quality this right here is, because I don't know. But it's thin. I can tell you that. I can I can vouch for it that. So I, I would say this was coming from the and I don't know where it come from it just was probably in a box of stuff but build you up to, uh, a little more what I'm what I'm going for is this needs to be a little bit well it needs to be that size right there it needs to be a good fit right down in there I'm gonna put a little more on there and 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 I have run many 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 hours uh, i've got engines that's run uh, all day you know all day long at shows and i've got engines that run here at the house just oh uh, it's on total amount of hours on on these engines and i've just never once once i do it like this right here i've just never had no trouble with it that's that's what i'm saying is you know, I mean, there are just some things that on the get-go to me sounds like that, you know, I shouldn't have no, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be doing, you know, I, I'm not going to try that, you know. Uh, I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm not going to. Anyways, it's, uh, let's call that enough. And you're going to say, well, how much did you put on there? And I have no, I have no earthly idea, you know. You seen me do it. I didn't measure it or nothing. Okay, but that's that's going to be good right there. Now, let's oil it up. Got to have some oil on there. It's got to move freely, and it's got to be kind of saturated. And like I say, you, you see what I got right there? Just a, uh, just a, uh, well... Looks like a spider nest or something. Oh, that's going to be that's a good one right there. Uh, a little better than I normally do. But as you can see, that's what I got right there, and and I'm going to go with that. At this point, you drop your ball down in there, and then you put this down in here, right like that right there. I'm going to put a little oil down in there, right around that right there. On that right there, put a little oil right because I want that to I want that to take a seat in there. Oh yeah. Now when I was fitting this pump up, when I was fitting this pump up, and 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 the reason the some of this stuff now that I've been doing on this engine right here is because the parts was from different engines. And, and and let me stop right here. Uh, let, 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 let's let's just stop right here and clarify something. When when, when you're assembling an engine from parts, this this fuel pump here could have been all together on an engine running, and you take it all apart. 
and you see a little little uh, war place right there and you file it away and you see a little war place there and you sandpaper it or you disassemble it and you wash all the grease out of it and you say okay that pin's bad and I've got another one I'm gonna put it in here so you put a different pin in here okay this housing is war to match that pin so when you put another one in there you're putting this in a different angle uh, and, and and I guess the bottom line is is just because a part was on an engine running does not mean that it will that it's ready to leak to put on your engine and start running as is. Uh, especially like on like on these push rods, you will so often find them where that that will be worn to a little cup shape. And and what that did that wore to the to the rocker arm, or either you'll find the rocker arm that's wore to a half. That'll be at an angle. Well, when you take it off of this engine and put on another engine, it'll put that in a different angle. So, when you're putting these together, you have to you you have to take in consideration and modify. And when I was putting this all together, I noticed that the IHC logo, and when I was filing this ear right here to put all of this together. When I was a filing that, because it, because this this was worn crooked, uh, the other fuel pump, the shaft had worn real bad in the other fuel pump, and the sha and this was operating at an angle. So when I took this out, all this part here off of the other one to put on here, this one was broke. It was on this one, and I replaced it with this one. Then that put these at a different angle. So I had to I had to kind of dress that down with a file right there a little bit. Some time ago I did that. And and so it fits back when it comes back on here and that all comes together, it it matches up right there and pushes that down at a straight stroke. So if I turn this around like this, it, it's not the same. It one side's higher than the other one. So all of those things contribute to how good your engine run runs as to how good you fit your parts up, especially from a from a, a replacement parts. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, we'll oil that up real good. Let's put a little oil right down in there anyway. That's that feels real good. Now the oil hole on this, or this right here, is right down in there is an oil hole, and then right in the top here is an oil hole. And it does not hurt anything at all to put a little oil wherever anything that slides to sliding parts put you a little drop of oil when you're oiling it there. And we'll do this one later, oil it up really good. But that's let's put this on the engine. <laughs> 